Hey everybody, welcome to BrickLink, and wow, this was a very unplanned and kind of shocking announcement for us. Apparently people in the know knew that this acquisition was coming down the line for some time, but definitely over here in the studio we were totally blindsided. It looks like BrickLink, BrickLink.com, has been officially acquired by LEGO. LEGO has bought BrickLink. I kid you not, I am recording this video in the same project folder as my updated how to buy LEGO bricks from BrickLink tutorial video. So you'll see some of that just kind of flashing by the screen as I'm talking. But needless to say, BrickLink is the single biggest online community of buying and selling LEGO bricks, and it's absolutely integral for custom builders all around the world. There are thousands of shops selling LEGO bricks, some used, some pieces that aren't even made by LEGO anymore, and it's the only way you can get certain parts. And there's also a lot of custom pieces that are being sold on BrickLink that are LEGO compatible, but not directly uh, Lego branded. I believe there's over a million users that are currently on the website and depending on how this acquisition goes and how the rules may change in the future, this could be very positive for lots of people or if the uh, changes don't really benefit the, uh, the designers or the sellers or the creators, then of course it could start to go the other direction as well. This is absolutely massive news for the uh, custom building community, the AFOL community, and at this moment we're not entirely sure sure what the uh, future plans for BrickLink are and how sellers, buyers, and custom builders will be affected, at least not immediately. Starting off, I will say that I've left links for all the different articles that I managed to find on this topic, which is the official BrickLink announcement, their FAQ, a message from Niels Christensen on the BrickLink website, as well as the official LEGO announcement, and I included the articles from both Brickset and Brothers Brick, which I found the most helpful because they interview the chief marketing officer, Julia Golden, who gives a little bit more information outside of the basic uh, articles. I also just finished reading five pages of discussion on the LEGO Ambassador Network. And from what I can see based on the reactions, there is some cautious optimism. Lots of people just kind of saying that they're gonna wait and see how things unfold. And then of course, several different questions and concerns. This really does represent a potential for a massive shift within the custom building world. There are a ton of questions and comments and concerns and a lot of speculation as to how the future of BrickLink is gonna unfold. And the future of the custom building community. I can't possibly uh, address all of what people have brought up in the different forums, but what we do know is that now that LEGO has acquired BrickLink, or they're finishing off the acquisition, I should say, they're gonna be getting the secondary sales revenue from all the different transactions on the site. And more importantly, they will be able to collect data on what people are buying and selling. Data collection is like the end all be all for making money for large companies, and it will most likely help influence the type of sets and parts that they produce for the future. The original BrickLink management team will continue to run the site so they're not uh, clearing house and replacing it with a bunch of different members. And the acquisition also included Soho Bricks which mainly uh, produces parts for charities, little custom things, custom prints and stuff, and it looks like LEGO will be working with them in the future, but they also said that they will probably be discontinuing sales of brick arms, which feature historical, realistic weapons and stuff from military. That's about all I can 100% say is going to happen based on what we know from the acquisition so far, and there's lots of different questions. Mostly people want to know how this is going to come out in the wash. Will parts become more available? Maybe Okay. Uh, certain pieces can become cheaper, or are there going to be certain kinds of regulations possibly imposed on sellers that could drive them to other markets? The simple fact is we just don't know enough right now to really be able to predict uh, anything good or bad uh, happening. I highly recommend that you check out the different uh, articles that I've linked, and I am part of the Ambassador Network, so if you do have any questions, comments, concerns, I will definitely be looking through the uh, comment section of this video, and I'd really just like to know what you guys think. I haven't put my two cents or speculation into this announcement. I will say we do run a web store and have exclusively supported BrickLink as the number one place that we recommend people to buy uh, parts for the custom builds, though we have not been without our criticisms as well. There are definitely certain things about how the uh, LEGO economy works that I think custom builders probably would prefer to be a little bit different. And honestly, an overhaul could do both good things 
or bad things depending on how it's implemented. So I really just am curious to know what you guys think. All right, that's going to be it. So uh, anyways, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. If you enjoy our content, you can always like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. We've got a web store, like I said before. That's uh, linked in the description below as well, www.brickvault.toys. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Yeah!